We've all been clamoring for new content in Escape from Tarkov. We're all dying for streets to come out, for the Lightkeeper to appear, for Arena Mode to come out. Well, we haven't got any of those things yet, but we have got a new event. It's got some server hacking, some code breaking. It looks complicated, but it's actually a whole lot of fun, and I'm going to show you how to play it yourself. It all started on Sunday, 16th of October 2022, when BSG dropped this YouTube video teasing a new storyline in Escape from Tarkov. It involves Lightkeeper, it involves Sanitar, and a whole bunch of new characters. In the video, we see a URL and a username and password. And that URL is a real website. It's the ARRS. And you can go there right now. Okay, so to play the game, you just open a web browser and go to the web address that's in the uh, YouTube video, ARRS.host. And this is what comes up. Now, I'm not going to spoil anything. I'm just going to show you the basics of how to get around and I'll let you discover everything because it's fun to discover all this stuff and work it out as you go. Uh, what I did work out was you can do help. I just guessed to try the help command and it works. It tells you all the commands available. So let's use the credentials from the video. Login, default, user, all one word, enter, and then it asks for a password. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, test, all one word, lowercase. All right, user screen goes blank and we're in. All right, let's go help again. All right, we've got new commands now. See, we've got notes and notes, user, file and dir. So user just tells us a bit about who we are, you, a default user. And sometimes this contains useful information. And we're basically going to be trying to find out what's going on, read all the notes and files, there's story in there, and also find out what other accounts are around that also have more files and more story in them. So notes gives a list of the notes then the note command lets you read one of those notes. Now you can rekey these things, which is what I was doing initially for quite a while, uh, until I worked out a trick, which is in Chrome, I'm going to inspect this element and just shows you on the right hand side all the text, but this is copy and pasteable. So now I can copy that, double click, copy, command C, command V, and now you don't have to rekey those names because these names get really long and complicated. All right, first note. All right, so you can read through all of the notes. And then the other thing you can do is have a look at the directory. And that tells you what files there are. And there's one file here. And to read a file, you type file. And again, copy and paste that name. Double click, copy, paste. Not important dot text. Ah, look at that. All right, so. That is a random string that looks of interest. So we're going to copy that. In fact, I suggest copying all these notes and names and stuff as you go and making a notepad. Grab your notepad or text editor and keep track of everything. And then we're going to grab that thing. We don't know what it is. This is how you play the game. I'll let you read through all the notes. Just the last note. Right, damn it, I'm logged in as default user again. Login observer 14.4. All right, so we've got a username and something that looks like a password. Right, observer 14.4, copy. Let's put that in my note. I'm going to say login 14.4, and we'll try that. Now, you can't just go log in. You have to log out first uh, in this operating system. So log out. Is this fun or what? Now, if you get stuck, you can always Google Tarkov ARRS. You can always look at, there's a whole Reddit thread with all the answers, but I recommend seeing how far you can get on your own. Just copy and paste this, copy, paste, waiting for password, copy that, paste. Now see this delay when the wheel spins? Someone in my chat gave me a snippet of code to speed that up. And I'm going to include that in the comments below. Copy and paste this code into the console on the bottom right and enter. And now it will speed everything up. So uh, now we can go help. 
and straight away we don't have to wait for the spinning wheel. Now you have to paste that code into the console each new account you log into, but it's not too much trouble, it speeds things up a lot. Another trick I'll tell you I discovered, if you don't like this flashing video background, you can actually delete it by highlighting that line, video wrap and hitting delete, and now you've got a black background to work with, which I find a lot easier on the eyes. All right, I'm not gonna spoil the storyline. There's like rivalry between some of the operators of the terminals. There's hacking attempts, there's corrupted data, and some of that corrupt data is encrypted. And I'll show you the basics of how the decrypting uh, works so you can enjoy deciphering some of these ciphers in the game. Okay, we've got a log of some sort of hacking attempt or breaking attempt. And then it says error, transmission interrupted, and some gobbledygook. Now this gobbledygook is of interest. You wanna copy and paste that into your note and we'll try and crack this code. Now uh, we know from the Escape from Tarkov wiki, this stuff has all happened before. If you look at the help page for the ARRS terminal, on the official Escape from Tarkov wiki, before Escape from Tarkov Alpha was released, they also used this same terminal and had a whole lot of encrypted messages that were teasing that the game was about to be released. And you can see some of it's in base 32 code, some of it's in base 64 code, and some of it's using Caesar ciphers. Okay, so let's have a look at what we've got here. Now, base 32, is an encoding system. It's not actually a code, it's just an encoding system that uses all uppercase letters and the digits, I think it's two to seven or something like that. And then base 64 uses all uppercase and lowercase and all the digits. So you can get a clue as to what we're looking at. So we might be looking at some base 32. So you just Google a base 32 decoder, copy that text. Uh, here's one I Googled, uh, all, all the links are in the description. And you paste that in and it just says invalid base 32 characters. That's because of all the spaces. So I've got to go through and remove all the spaces and the new lines. And now we've got a message. Look at this. Are you looking for this? Password or PW, blah, blah, blah. You're welcome. Okay, that looks important. Let's copy that into our note. That's going to be... a password for someone. You just continue on like that, working through all these files, looking for pieces of random code. I'll show you as complicated as it gets, which is two stages, and it's still very easy, and it's a lot of fun. Now, a bit deeper down the rabbit warren, you come across this file, which has also corrupted data and some strange looking string. Now this looks like it's mixed case with numbers in it and no other junk. So it looks like it could be base 62. So let's give that a go. So we'll copy just those bits and we'll copy that into our base 64 decoder. And it's junk. All right, what do we do? Well, there was a clue here C2. Now, Caesar ciphers work just by shifting the alphabet. So, a Caesar cipher of two, A becomes C, or C becomes A, depending on which direction you go. So, let's try some Caesars on this. And we'll do a Caesar of two. And uh, I'm going to shift the numbers and the letters. You basically try all the options, but sh if you shift the numbers and the letters, you get something like this, and then if we copy that into our base64 decoder, now we get something intelligible. If we put these pieces all on the same line, it looks better. Looks like middle piece MZR05. So this is another clue. And so that could be the middle piece of a password that's in three pieces in three different files somewhere. That's the basics of how to decode this thing. Work your way through usernames, logins. It's a lot of fun. There's also right at the end, a maze where you have to go up, down, left, right, and decrypt thing. That's all been done. And it's it's a real pain. I don't recommend going down that rabbit warren, but just discovering all the usernames and passwords and finding all the story is great. It leads to a bunch of codes uh, that unlock 
uh, reportedly Edge of Darkness copies of the game. They've all been discovered and cashed in. So you won't be able to get any copies of the game, but it's still fun to go try and find all of the codes. I think there are four or five in here. And there are unknown mysteries. Some of these um, cryptographies haven't been cracked yet. One of the accounts, we haven't even discovered the password yet. Some of the accounts have user descriptions that are encrypted that no one's decoded yet. So there's still mysteries out there to be cracked, but I think you'll agree. This is a really fun adventure and a fun game to try. Thank you BSG for providing us with this additional content while we wait for the big updates in the game. I hope you enjoy cracking the codes of the ARRS and I'll see you out there.